uh, the very first, so it's a three part video series. The very first one was how to deal with the prospect, the actual right. home buyer. And yeah. then the second one uh, was how to deal with the realtor and right. what to say to the realtor, how to engage with them. And then the third one is going to be right up in your line right now because you're building the community, you're building the website, right. you're building the capture page. Uh -huh. And basically the third one was just a, how do you market? How do I, how do I generate the leads? I, my next move is to engage the realtors, the insurance agents, the tax accountants, the um, the other loan originators for leads, uh, for you know, if, you know, for people who they're you know trying to get loans for, you know, and even if they are not able to get those loans uh, for them, I could you know most likely get them for them. Um, that's my 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 struggle is getting in, is reaching out to them. Uh, I do have my script. I do have, you know, um, uh, uh, you know, different routes. But my my initial attempt, uh, are, you know, I tried, you know, multiple times, like in over the course of three days. Uh, I I wasn't successful, like in reaching out to, uh, you know, realtors on LinkedIn sure. or uh, even insurance agents on LinkedIn. Um, you know, and I got a big list of like you know, like thirty six thousand realtors uh, that I'm a, I'm intending to reach out to, but um you know likely they're not going to open that message to you know to reach out to me or you know sure. uh, to for me to you know uh connect with them and my I'm, I'm looking for a way in order to um you know really get get in contact with them and you know go, um, initiate the contact and you know follow up with them and you know get that get them to refer me business that's 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 where i'm struggling at right now I, you know i'm confident about the script I'm confident about like, the different things that I wrote up, even the presentations um, that for the realtors, for the originators and the insurance agents and the accountants. Sure. Uh, but it's just, you know, initial contact, you know, with sure. them specifically. I think it's, um, if, 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 you know, if, if I'm correct, I think the hardest part of the challenge is not knowing what they're going to say and mm -hmm. is kind of, ex you know, it's always that thought in the back of our heads. And we, we do the same with, with consumers is what if they don't like my message or what if, what if they already have a solution and they're going to reject me? And I think that that plays a huge role of what actually stops us from going into the engagement with mm -hmm. the difference of think about like when, uh, you know, when you walk into like a sales environment, like a car lot, Mm -hmm. Or when you walk into even like a Best Buy or an electronic yeah. shop and you have that that one first representative yeah. comes up to you, you could see him coming from afar and you get this impression inside as a consumer like, oh, man, here we go. This dude's going to try to right. sell me. And they try to come, <laughs> hey, man, can I help you find anything? And you're like, no, yeah. OK. You know, they immediately <laughs> turn back and we don't want to be that dude. Right. right. Um, and so, you know, if you I'm not sure if you caught the last three videos, I did a three part series at the beginning of last week that was meant for purchase business. And I, yeah, one of the videos I, I, had to be with realtors. It, I, I saw, I was like, dude, I got to watch this. So I downloaded it. And so I'm like, I'm going to watch it. Later. Yeah, watch those. Uh, the very first, so it's a three-part video series. The very first one <laughs> was how to deal with the prospect, the actual right. home buyer. And yeah. then the second one uh, was how to deal with the realtor and right. what to say to the realtor, how to engage with them. And then the third one is gonna be right up in your line right now because you're building the community, you're building the website, right. you're building the capture page. Uh -huh. And basically the third one was just a, how do you market? How do I, how do I generate the leads? Uh -huh. and, uh, and I think it's perfect timing because before you yeah. even launch the website or b before you launch the business page, that yeah. can ultimately become your magnet, but it's gonna take some time to build that up. It's gonna take some right. time to build that community. Yeah. And so uh, let's use one of the examples because I already have that content covered with realtors. Let's use uh, an insurance agent, Okay. right? An insurance agent, there's so many different insurance companies. So the question right. is, well, how do I approach an insurance agent and ask them for business? Right. And the primary thing is that you need to make it more or less a win-win while at the same time creating the message in a way that's accepted without friction. And so right. what I mean by that is like, let's say we have um abc insurance agency right and we're targeting them because they may be local within our area and typically what happens is they they are much like brokers like even right. though they operate under state farm insurance it's actually their business and they created like their little hub as kind of like a a retail outlet 
And yeah. so now the question is, okay, well, how do I craft my message in a way that actually speaks to them? Right. And what you can do is, and it sounds like you've already been doing is you got to do recon on your target. And so if I had this agent at ABC insurance company right down the street right. Um, or within an area, it doesn't even need to be down the street. It could be in a state that you're licensed to do business in. Yeah. You have to distinguish what makes them different from XYZ insurance agency, right? Mm -hmm. So ABC insurance agency, you may, you may call one of their insurance agents and be like, hey, man, I'm comparing you to other insurance and you're just kind of going undercover, right? right? And you say, hey, man, I'm, I'm, I'm about to renew my policy. It's going to be homeowner's insurance. And I want to know what separates you from everyone else. Why would I go with your insurance company other than this particular company? And what they're going to tell you is everything that makes them unique. And so they could be like, yeah, well, we do this, we do that, we do this. And then ultimately that becomes your content to present to right back at that insurance agent. Right. So if you if you take that and it can be the same agent, you just got to call in like a customer service, right? And they're going to connect you to sales. Um, mm -hmm. But what happens is you end up using that communication to craft your pitch or your your opening right. pitch to the mm -hmm. insurance agent. So then you go them and say, hey, man, you know what? I uh, My name's Daniel. I'm, a, I'm actually a, a local loan consultant. And, uh, and I, I've been meaning to stop by and I want right. to introduce myself because I, I understand that your insurance company does blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. And it's specific to them. Right. And so, right. you know what? I appreciate that because a lot of my other insurance contacts, they simply don't provide that service. So I'd like to introduce myself because I do help homeowners throughout, you know, the area that has that specific requirement. Does that make sense? So now it makes them feel like, oh, yeah, you need me. And so yeah. but there's least resistance where I'm not coming in and I'm saying, hey, man, I'm wondering if we can, you know, share each other's contacts because that person relies on their book of business. They rely on their contact. They're going to protect that contact list with right. everything they have. And the right. last thing they want to do is send it off to a loan officer that they don't know about. But right. if you initiate the engagement where it's like, hey, man, I may be able to send you some contact, you put yourself in a better light. The I key see. is, though, is that you don't ask for business on that first engagement. You just simply make an introduction. Right. And then so what happens is when you make that introduction, you then add them into your Rolodex and you could mm -hmm. you could you could phase them out. So, you know, maybe put P1 because that was only phase one with that contact. So you've only done the initial intro. You mm -hmm. have yet to do phase two, which is maybe send a referral or ask for a referral. Does that make right. sense? Mm -hmm. um, and then and then phase two would sound something like this and be like, you call that agent like, hey, you know what? This is Daniel. If you remember, I stopped by and I wanted to um, introduce myself because you have these unique features that these other insurance companies don't have. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what? I was thinking about you because I just connected my insurance agent with my past client. And uh, the reason why I, I sent him a lot of business is because he sends me business. So I want to be able to open up that door to you too, so I can feed you business as well. Does that make sense? That's on phase yeah. two. It's not the initial app. It's not the initial engagement where I think a lot of, of uh, retail loan officers have an issue is because they go right in for the kill. Right. And there's no, there's no reason to follow up on, especially right. if you've been turned down. Whereas yeah. if you, if you, if you start off the engagement with something like a value, just like, oh, okay, cool, man. I like this. And they're going to remember your name or they're going to have a reason to think back like, oh yeah, you came to me because I have value that I could serve your prospects. So immediately they're like, oh, I need this person. I need this engagement because you can open right. up business to me. That's how they remember you. Mm -hmm. And then if you come back on phase two and be like, hey man, I, you know, you were my, I just thought of you. I have a other insurance agent in Lake Forest, California, or Irvine, California, that uh, that I just sent three three deals to or three new policies to this past month. And right. I thought about you because you're actually pretty close to them. And mm -hmm. I also wanted to open up the opportunity for you. The reason why I send them a lot of business because they send me contacts as well. Mm -hmm. You know, so when they when they come across single family residences or modular homes or or uh, uh, what you call it properties. You know, yeah. they can actually refer me to uh, potential buyers, you know, because gotcha. people get quotes for insurance policies. Hey, how much would it be if I insured this house for 600 grand? Right. And uh, or what if I move and buy this new home? So that becomes the, the outlet. And that's what you're ultimately asking them for is like, hey, yeah. I got this insurance agent I've been working with for about a couple of years. And anytime their clients actually ask about insuring other properties, what I do is I step in and I give them a, a pre-qualification letter. It's a little bit different than what everyone else is giving. It's actually pre-approved, so it's pre-underwritten. And what this means is the, the time that you spend giving them quotes on how much it'd be to insure that property 
I ensure that they can actually even afford the property to begin with. And if they can afford the property, then you're not wasting your time putting together a policy, dealing right. with escrow, taking time out of your busy day to write up a, a, a new you know, a, a declaration page for something that may not even go through. Right. So this is why other insurance agents really like to deal with me is because I get a lot of that vetted out. So if you know of anyone trying to get pre-approved or anyone about to buy a home or any of your clients are, are currently moving, let me show you why I was able to earn the business from these other insurance agents and I can actually show you uh, yourself so you can actually experience it. Does that make sense? That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a, it's a little bit different. It's covert and it it's always a win-win in their eyes because right. they believe that you can open up Pandora's box to them. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? As opposed yeah. to kind of just being that one clingy sales dude, like, hey man, give me some right. business. <laughs> yeah, right. Does that make sense? That makes a lot of sense, yo. Cool, I man. Love, I love how you uh, went over how, you know, to, to find out what what's unique about their company and then you could use that, you can come back at them with that uniqueness about their company in order yeah. to, um, you know, kind of op open an open door. It's yeah. really awesome. Yeah, because they're going to tell you. They're going to tell you, well, yeah, you should choose me because blah, yeah. blah, blah. And all, ultimately what you're doing is you're just taking those same benefits and saying, hey, man, you know what? I heard your company does blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And it's the exact same thing that they're trained and wired. So they mm -hmm. relate to you. Like They get this uh, this trigger emotionally like, oh, right. man, this person knows me. You they're know lovely. my company. Yeah, right? Like, oh, yeah, yeah, I could do that. And yeah. like, okay, cool. So I just want to introduce myself because I've been helping out a lot of insurance agents within this area get right. those specific needs needs met right. so it's it's a pleasure to meet you and the key thing is though is the patience it can't right. be a sale it can't be a pitch you can't ask them for anything all it is is just that initial intro and then you revisit it later you know yeah. and, and it's just all it's all strategic and yeah. i think that a lot of loan officers end up getting forgotten because they come in right from the gusto and be like hey man send me some business Man, right. get out of here. <laughs> yeah, I can tell a marketer. 